today how he's going triple R <coughs> in a different location uh, gone away from going to the usual spot which is Creswick and uh, I've come out sort of Dalesford way, sort of Dalesford, Hepburn Springs. There's a lot of bush up here that you're allowed to detect in. A lot of gold fields. Really nice place. It's um, a little bit different compared to Creswick in the fact that the ground's so um, clear. There's no ferns like sometimes Creswick is so overgrown with fernery and that prickly shit that it's almost impenetrable. So it really restricts the amount of areas that you can swing your detector around, you know, because if you can't swing your detector, you just miss out on so much. <coughs> you can't cover as much area. Creswick does have the benefit, so where the Forestry Commission or whoever select an area of Creswick National Forest and they backburn it, and um, all you've got to do is keep on your toes and figure out which area is going to get burnt next. And then get out there after they've burnt it. And then all the bushes and all the undergrowth's gone and it really cleans it up for you so as you can have a good detect. But out here, sort of, uh, <coughs> I'm not going to say exactly where I am, but I'm about 15 k's or 10 miles, I suppose, out of Dalesford. Maybe a little bit more. And there's just no undergrowth. It's just fantastic. And uh, there's, it, it's just different. The style of mining's even different. I'll show, you, I'll show you some mine shafts later on and some stuff that they've done over here. It's just like mind blowing. It's just, just great to look at. Uh, I've, this is my third day here and I found nothing. <laughs> I'll give you a look what I've got over two days. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now, I, I wouldn't even normally bother keeping this junk, but because I'd found nothing, I just thought, why the hell not? So, there's that thing. It's like a link of something. There's a small splitter. A uh, rock splitter. Wood splitter. Not sure, but... Yeah, there's a tool that they used to use. And I've got several of these. Don't know what it is. Sort of. No, this one's not so much. Sometimes they got a sharp edge on them, but this one hasn't. And, uh, why well, I kept that, I don't know. Some sort of old bottle cap. There is writing or a maker's name or something on the lid. Better I just kept it because I've got nothing else. And it must be made of copper or something. Maybe, no, I don't know. And then, as you can see, usual array of fucking... 1303, I think it's a 303, and I always forget the rim edge and one of them's wider than the than the um, casing. I think that makes it the 303 rather than a 308. So, big deal. A 22 shotgun. This is kind of interesting, I don't know what that is. It, um, it's got some sort of clip on it, as you can see. It looks like something slides underneath that. Maybe hooks over that round bit and this little clip holds it together. You'd think maybe some sort of belt or strap would go through there. Can't see anything written on it. I haven't had a real good look. But um, I'm wondering what it's made of as well because there's no signs of rust really. It's been under there a long time and you can tell it's old. It'd be good if it ended up being silver but... I mean, it could have been decorative, you know, maybe it was some sort of <coughs> belt buckle. <laughs> it's hard to imagine, I just can't think. Maybe belt come out of there and that was it. You know, I don't know. Anyway, so that's all I've got. And one thing I will mention too is if you can get hold of some of these books, I'll just tip the thing over. These are invaluable. Um, these are some of the older older books on detecting out around these ways, and they give you good maps. And just put the tripod back down. This is where I am now. The area circled in red. Now you can see. It says I after I you know, I came up here there. 
up there and down here and then there's a little row that goes up that way and one that goes that way well I took that one and it shows you these three little marks there are chimneys and uh, there you can see there's three chimneys I spent all day looking for them yesterday now I came to what I thought I'll just move my camera out here I've, I've turned my van around so I'm facing the way I came in but the little track which is barely visible finishes there which means the three chimneys should have been up there I walked up that mountain up that side went back came down that side walked along the bottom went through the valley up that mountain backwards and forwards down the other side backwards and forwards remember I'm walking at a small pace because I'm detecting while I go walked around down the bottom of that valley had a bit of a look could not see any chimney something what the fuck so anyway went up the top of that hill oops where is it the valley's down there I went down the valley and it was probably only about two hours daylight left I'd spent that much time looking for these friggin chimneys I came down here and I was ready to come back and I thought no fuck it I'll have a look keep going so I went up that hill I had a poke around up the top came halfway down that side and bloody just walked straight into them and I guess they were probably over there somewhere the chimneys I'll show them to you later and then I walked down you can see over there there's a nice grassy area which I was uh, aware of the whole time but I didn't want to go over there because that's not where the chimneys were and the chimneys meant activity, mining etc and I wanted to go somewhere where there was obviously a lot of people but anyway what I found over here where the chimneys are is spectacular it's just some really good stuff going on over there and I'll just give you a quick view of where I am I'll start off with the back of my car this me set up on me tarp. It's just nice to sit under the tarp. Got a good fire. Here's me table. Okay. It's really nice country out here. It's so quiet. The only thing I've heard is a few jet planes. You can see I'm right, right at the diggings here. I'm not really going to have a look around just here though. I'm not after the little bits of gold, as you know, I can't be fucked with that sort of stuff. I'm more into looking out for the relics, coins, etc. So that's where I am. And uh, I might as well give you a quick look at the setup. I don't think I've ever shown you the inside. Nothing spectacular. So there's the inside of me combi tarps and shit, it's my detector, it's where I keep it at night, got more maps on the dashboard, and in here, that seat, it's getting a little bit ripped up, that folds down into my bed, my bedding I just throw up the back, uh, and just store it there so I can sit in here, Make sure the pop tops up. That's just storage, used to be a kitchen sink and crap down there and I ripped all that out ages ago. This little table folds away. Got me cookers out, I've had me sausages and eggs for brekkie. A cup of coffee. I've got more tent poles and another detector there than there. Got lots of gear stored under there. Got a stove here if I need it. Bits and pieces. It's just a speaker I whacked up there inside a timber cabinet. Got a little radio, says it. I can listen to shit. Uh, I can't get my camera up there because my bloody tripod, but there's more storage up there with my food and cookers and cooking utensils. <coughs> there's my gear, which I'll be taking today. Always put my rubbish in a bag. Never leave anything here. There's my second rubbish bag getting filled up. So anyway, that was a nine minutes worth of shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just wanted to show you what it's like and this new area at Dalesford, it's um, bloody beautiful out here, just awesome. So uh, I'll go and I know where I'm going, I'm going to go way over there, oh I know the trees are out of the way, I'll show you the cactus plants from here, but there is, this area has just been um, 
you can tell people that have been here a long time ago and planted stuff to make it homey, I guess. Plants that you would normally not find out here. And it's just awesome over there, so I'll um, get off. I'll shut this thing up. And I'll give you a look when I get over there. Okay, triple R.